Ideas, imagination, inspiration, macro world. Here's your host, Ray Scott. Hi, it's great to have you aboard for another edition of Macro World. Now today's project I consider to be quite challenging. I didn't have an easy time with this. I had an idea, a preconceived notion of what I was going to try to get, but it turned out to be something completely different, which I love. But I'll take you on the journey that got me to something like what you're seeing right there. That's not exactly what I was looking for to start with, but it's certainly something that I ended up with and I really liked it. But there were some images beforehand that I thought were kind of interesting too. So let's take a look at all of that. Here we are with a basic box of tissue. Now you might want to light it from the side or at least be very careful how you light it because you're going to want some shadows because you're going to want that definition. All right. Because once you have the definition, you can come up with some really interesting patterns. All right. So you get your lens up close and you start taking some photos or you can just take a piece of tissue out and ball it up in your hand. Now that may seem a little crazy, but it really does work. And because you're getting up close, all of that mess actually starts to appear in your viewfinder as something that makes sense. So give that a shot as well. To know me is to know that there is really no right or wrong way to do most things in photography. It's all one big experiment as far as I'm concerned, and I hope it is for you as well. So while I'm going to be showing you some things, they're just my ideas, but your ideas may be completely different. So to start off with, this is my first tissue shot. And depending on how you have your tissue placed and where you are with your lens and your camera and so on, it will look completely different. But I will tell you that this is shot at f2.8. So it's a very, very shallow depth of field. I just wanted little bits to be in focus, but this is really basic. Okay. This is just white tissue and there's nothing really going on. Now this is exactly the same shot, but I've tinted it in Lightroom a little bit of blue just to add a slightly different feel. That's all there is to that. Here's a different uh, shot. Again, a very shallow depth of field. And you can see that swooping around on the right hand side, that piece of tissue. And that's what caught my eye in this particular composition. Again, your compositions are going to be completely different. Again, tinted slightly. In Lightroom, you can use any software you want, or you, you can even use filters or things like that, depending on how you roll with your photography. But again, very shallow depth of field. Most of it is very out of focus and ethereal. Again, a shallow depth of field, but this time I've used a black background and this time I've tinted it. And this time I've also used the texture. Now I'm going to show you how to use a, a something else with your macro tissue shots. Okay. But that's coming up in just a few moments. Um, not for this particular shot, but for others, it's always the same sort of treatment. Again, shallow depth of field and just a look at a different pattern in the tissue. This is the same shot, except I've combined it again with some texture and with some color. And I'm going to show you in a moment exactly how you can do that. Same thing here. Those are actually trees in the background. It's actually a tree, an apple tree with blossoms in the background on this. And I've combined it. I'll show you in a moment how to do that kind of technique. Okay. So here's the tissue crumbled up with all kinds of different edges to it. It's a completely different look. And I had something in mind when I did this, and this is what I had in mind. That is the same shot as this. Okay. It's the same tissue shot but I've combined it in Photoshop with the bathroom floor. Okay. So it actually appears that some of the tissue, all right, is coming up through the flooring. This is more what I had in mind here. That's the shot you already saw at the top of the show. I'm going to show you how to combine these things, by the way, again, and that's just cracked earth, but let's say you don't have cracked earth. Well, you can find a brick wall just about anywhere and look at the effect you can get with a brick wall. So let's go into Photoshop and see how I combine 
texture or in this case the brick wall with the tissue to come up with this let's take a look so here we are in Photoshop with the tissue shot and a brick wall all right so first things first we want to combine these two images so we're going over to the brick wall image and we select the move tool and with the move tool we just move it up and over the tissue I was holding the shift key while I was doing that by the way and that was to center the brick wall image over the tissue shot now as you can see the size isn't correct so we're going to change the size by transforming it that's command T and we'll transform it and make it a little bit bigger so this is no problem at all you can make it anything you want it doesn't have to be exact it just has to be close and that's going to be fine hit return so now you have two layers over here in the layers panel you have the background layer which is the tissue layer and of course you have the brick layer that we've put over top of it and this is where we go over to the blend modes and it's going to be to taste and it's going to be what you want it to be so we're at normal here are the blend modes we go down and we see darken that's not what I wanted multiply perfect actually it's absolutely perfect but it needs a little work in Lightroom or some other software maybe even in Photoshop just to uh, bring up the contrast and to bring up the clarity a little bit and to make it pop a bit more but that's exactly what we're looking for color burn that's not what I wanted linear burn darker color none of those were what I wanted I found that hard light worked really well okay and in the end I went with multiply and I worked on it in Lightroom just to bring up the color a little bit and to and to bring up the brightness and so on and so forth but for this we'll just leave it at hard light and basically there you have it and and look at the way the bricks almost appear to go in, with the waves of the tissue it almost it almost appears to bend and so on and so forth it makes a really really interesting effect the world of macro photography can be so incredibly interesting Give this project a try. It's not easy, but uh, you could be rewarded by some of your efforts. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you to shoot small, but think big.